Hello guys, welcome to Expert Azure Academy. Today we're going to see uh, how to create a design profile on top of an existing surface profile. Okay, that is what we have seen. In the previous video, we have seen how to create an alignment and then create a profile profile view from that particular uh, alignment. Um, that's that's what we have seen in, in the previous videos. So this one, we got the profile view, so now how to add a design profile on top of it. So why do we need a design profile? So let's say if you're building a road, uh, for civil 3d within civil 3d so the road the alignment takes care of the horizontal control so that means if you want to move from this direction to this direction if you adjust it the road will move so now how do we control the road has to travel from this section so this is your long sections how do the how do the road has to travel in this long section so you can't really use this existing surface profile for that then you know uh, how are you going to roads going to manage these sort of uh, drops and things like that so for that we're going to have a design profile line and that we would use it for the roads uh, long section okay so now to add a design profile so you have to select your profile view uh, make sure you deselect everything and then select your profile view. So now make sure that sometimes these gray uh, grid lines might also have your labels, which might also be in the same color. So make sure that you pick your grid line. So when you pick it, it should select everything. So that's the grid lines. Once you select it, it shows on the top as a profile view, and then it gives the tools for editing a profile, adding things to the profile. So now I'm gonna click on create profile, which is profile creation tools and it's going to show the default alignment which is underlying alignment within that profile and uh, the reason being is your profile data is actually binded to the alignment so i'll show that in a minute so it'll be within this one here so let me show that anyway now so if you expand your alignment if you expand you see there is profile profile views so all of those comes under a particular alignment okay so now go back to your profile creation tools and you can give in a different name for it if you wanted description and then the profile style, how you want it, and the label styles, and the design criteria. So there is a separate criteria file for profiles as well. You can apply them and uh, you can use them and click on create. So this will give a flyout toolbar. So the thumb rule from the fly for the flyer toolbar is as soon as you're done with that, just close it. And then from left to right will be the simple creation options will be the simple tools will be on the left and more complex ones and and uh, editing ones managing ones will be on the right side. OK, so now first drop down, I'm going to select it. And uh, there you go. You got your curve settings, which is similar to your alignment. You can adjust your curve length uh, for the crust and sags. And then uh, you can convert a free curve as well. So that's like if you already have a curve, you can use that. And I'm going to choose this option that says tangent uh, with curves. If you're using it for pipes, you can use that just tangents. So click on that. And then start from your zero chainage, which is very, very important, guys. Sometimes what happens is, let's say at this particular point, your surface, let's say we're looking at zero elevations here at this point, let's say your surface has got a huge cliff and very sharp cliff so then what happens is at this location uh, and on the zero chainage you might have lots and lots of tiny lines coming up here the grid lines so if you zoom in like that and if you try to click and keep progressing you may not be clicking on to the absolute starting point so even if you choose let's say here not exactly to this point, you just made a little mistake, little error here. Now what happens is when you build your corridor, that's your road, your road needs both your alignment and the profile line. So now what happens is it will start, your road will start from zero and that zero, your profile line may not exist. So that means because you created with a little error of your profile starting from here. So now your road will start from, from zero, ground zero, and then it will progress and then it will start to the point wherever you started your profile line from. So it will got a waterfall effect, uh, which I would show you demonstrate when we do the corridors. Okay. So first thing, make sure that you zoom in closer, go to the starting point and then click and then start drawing your design profile. So you can create however you want it. OK, so once you create it, it also creates the labels and things like that. Uh, you can quickly close it and that's your design profile. <coughs> so you have created your alignment, your surface profile and then your design profile. So if you select your profile view now, 
and then if you go to your profile view properties and then if you go to profiles you can see that is your natural surface and that's your design okay so here we go guys we have created the design profile and the step forward would be is like once you've created all these ones then you will create a subassembly and then the corridor okay thanks for watching guys if you like the video share and then subscribe to the channel thank you